Hey everyone, welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, I'm Gary. And I'm Cassie. And we are actually in the farmhouse right now. We are in the farmhouse that Cassie loves to have lights in, don't you? Yes. You prefer lights? Yes. And in the wintertime, we prefer heat. And if our electric goes out, we have a hard time getting either one of those. But today we want to tell you about something that's going to help us maybe even go off grid if we had to for a short amount of time. And that is the Blue Eddy AC500 and B300S combination. So we got these in the mail and Cassie said, hey, you got a couple of big boxes out there, <laughs> isn't it? So the AC500 does not come with an internal battery. It is just a inverter that takes batteries that are plugged into it and turns it into power. So it has to have at least one of these B300S um, battery packs, but guess what, Cassie? What? You can have up to six of these B300S battery packs. Oh, wow. So instead of 3,072 kilowatt hours, you multiply that by six. And that's a whole lot. <laughs> that's a whole lot. And that's where it comes into being able to run a house, more or less, um, off the grid. Four. So. I'm gonna show you just real quick. It comes with this huge cable right here to connect the two. So I was gonna connect them and then we'll get in a little closer and kind of show you some of the details about them. So here's a little closer look at the AC500. And remember that's 5,000 watts of power. It also has a t up to 10,000 watts of surge, but I really like the touch screen that it has. You can turn your alternating current on and off right here. So under the hood of the AC500 is a 5,000 watt pure sine wave inverter and an MPPT controller that can support a staggering 3,000 watts of solar charging. A single AC500 supports six battery packs for a whopping 18,423 kilowatts of capacity and two AC500 sets can help up to 37,000 kilowatts. Right below the AC500, the B300S has 3,072 watt hours of battery storage. The B300S can accept 500 watts of solar input. Also, the battery pack expansion port of the B300S is a 150 amp, which can only be connected to the AC500. So before we take it outside and put it to the test, I want to make sure that it's completely charged. So I'm going to plug it in plugged in securely, and then I will plug it into the wall. And you can always see the charge status by either looking at the front or something I really like. So you can actually open up the Blue Eddy app. And I'm gonna connect. And right now you can see that it's connected to the grid. Uh, feeding in 1,689 watts, 1,720 of grid power, the charge up to 86%. You can also charge solar at the same time. So that would be called turbocharging, and it can charge super fast at that rate. I'm only going to do this one, um, but I like that you can look and see what the status is. You can also control um, the AC500 at this point by turning on or off your power here or there. So just some cool features on the app that um, I haven't ever seen with a power station like this before and makes it super simple to log in and control it right here from your phone. So it seems like there are more and more gadgets to charge and the AC500 has you covered because they have DC output of 30 amp, uh, 24 volt DC or 10 amp right here kind of like a um, cigarette type charger that you would plug in in your car. Uh, also, as far as DC output, they have USB-C 100 watt, which that's what we use our MacBook for. When we edit videos like this for you guys. So I'm gonna plug this in right here to do a little charging. And now we can see that it is currently pulling 30 to 30, 20, 17, 36. So it's pulling wattage for that. Also, our iPad, I'm gonna plug that in at the same time so we can get charged up. 
and it just has tons of ports. So over here, the USB um, 18 watt port, it has two of those. And then comes the big ones. So we have 20 amp max times three. So if you wanna plug something in, say like a microwave, a 2000 watt microwave, it works. How do we know it works? Well, the power went out the other day and we actually had to use it. So I'm gonna show you a video real quick. Ranger just had to make something when the power went out. Let me show you what he had to make. Ranger, what happened? The power went out. The power went out, and what did you want? Mac and cheese. He wanted some mac and cheese, but guess what? The power's out, and what are you making? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, because it's using 1,972 watts, and it's working. So Blue Yeti to the rescue, right, Ranger? Yep. So you can see that it handled that 2,000 watt microwave like a champ. That is a lot of watts, but a 5,000 watt inverter has the power for it. The last thing, if you have an RV, this would be great as a power source or backup power because it has a 30 amp max plug. Also, it has a 50 amp plug. So, I don't know what you could not power. You can, you can power a house if you have it connected correctly. So that's what we're gonna work on next is getting it powered um, where we can use it as a backup source. Uh, it's nice, clean energy. You can use solar panels to charge up your 300S. So there are a lot of benefits about this power station. But we don't wanna just tell you about it. We want to show you how well it works. So let's head outside. I've got a couple of things I wanna show you here on the farm. And the last thing is at Cassie's school, we're gonna do a little bit of work there with the Blue Eddy. All right, we're 100% charged. So let's take this thing out and put it to some real world test. So we wheeled the Blue Eddy out here to the shop because we want to give it a good test in a real world situation. And that is when the power goes out on a 100 degree day like today, or maybe it's in the high 90s, but it's hot, trust me. What do you do when you have thousands of dollars worth of pork and beef in your freezer? And these freezers, this one's probably got less than the other one. It's got some pork or corn, sausages, different things like that. But our other freezer down here is packed completely full of beef. Uh, so what do you do when there's no power? Well, we're gonna see what the uh, Blue Eddy does with not one, but two big freezers attached. See, I got it up to 100% power. Um, so let's uh, turn on the AC. Go ahead and plug in freezer number one. You can see it is pulling 150. So we're gonna plug in the second freezer and it surged up to 700 watts. And then it kicked off and it's back down. So you can see now power lights on. Power lights on. The lights on in here. So living on your farm, raising your own meat for your family, making sure that you have a good supply of meat for any kind of shortages coming up is very important to our family. So having a backup power source that's gonna last uh, several days, especially if you have that solar connection, is priceless. Because I'm gonna start loading up the truck though, because now we have another real world test we wanna put this in. Sometimes you're in places it's just not convenient to run extension cords because you might have to run two or 300 feet of extension cords, and that's not necessarily good for those little light cords. So we're gonna put the Blue Eddy to work, doing a little bit of power washing at Cassie's school. So let's head over there and get to it. So we made it over to Cassie's school and she did a little bit of pressure washing the other day, but you guys can see the difference of what needs to be done. And then this was already done and cleaned. 
So to get that washed up, I need power. And guess what? The teachers are in there getting their classrooms ready and that type of thing. Uh, I don't want to be running power in and out of the building. So we are going to be using the Blue Eddy. Let me see, we can turn this thing on. There we go. All right. And we have power, there we go. So in addition to power washing, we're also gonna be needing some weed eating done. Cassie got a new Dewalt weed eater, but guess what? It takes battery charge. So we're gonna hook up the battery charger, let it be charging while I'm power washing. So surprisingly, that battery is pulling 154 watts. That's more than that freezer was pulling. But it's a 60 volt battery and they charge pretty fast, so that's probably why. All right, so here's the real test. Battery charge. And power washer. So I am putting it to the test and this thing when the power washer pulses, so watch this. It goes all the way up to 1800 watts. So that time it was going up to 800, 900, 1000 watts and then going back off. So, hey, you want a real world test? We'll give you a real world test. We're gonna um, go up there, do a lot of power washing. So right now it's at 98%, but Cassie's already doing her weed eating. I'm gonna go do my power washing and we'll check back in with you guys when we're done. See how much battery it used in a real world test. So we did all the power washing, just ran through my battery, got it completely dead. So now it's back on the charger. And you can see after power washing, charging this battery a couple times, we are still at 88%. So there's a lot of juice in that big battery down there. So we worked until dark last night on the schoolyard, getting it weed eated and all that stuff. Now it's time to do our very final test. So you guys see this air conditioner right up here. We actually have our own cold room here at Walker Farm. So it's more or less a freezer room where you can um, either hang meat up. Uh, also at uh, Valentine's Day and Mother's Day, big occasions, we have a local florist that has used this also to store flowers. Very important to have some cold AC right there whenever you need it. But like I said, with the blackouts, power outages, you're not guaranteed to have electricity. So I'm gonna put the Blue Eddy to a test and see how it does with the cold room. So we made it inside the cold room. You guys can see it is hot in here right now though because this has not been on um, in a long time. So we are going to turn on the Blue Eddy. So the air conditioner plug that I have, this is actually a 110 unit and I can use it on my 20 amp max. But if you have an air conditioner with a bigger plug, say uh, 220 or 50 amp, you can use any of these plugs right here. Also, Blue Eddy will offer a 30 amp AC adapter and a 50 amp AC adapter as an additional option. Current 
temperature in here is 98, oh, 99 degrees. So we're gonna give it about an hour. We'll come back and see how it does. So I really wanted to try the uh, cold room because it is a 12,000 BTU air conditioner, probably the highest capacity electronic I have. So let's see how it does. And hopefully it'll cool down because I'm starting to get hot. Whew, I just finished all my chores. Let me tell you what, it's hot outside. It's uh, 97, 98, it feels like. Uh, let's see what's going on in here though. I got this, oh man. Oh, it's ice cold. Feels good. So it's only been running about 30 minutes and let's see, it's already dropped down to 55 degrees. So you can see the room temperature. Almost a thousand watts. Whew. So I went ahead and turned that off because it's kind of noisy in here. But you can see it has cooled way off. It went from 99 degrees down to 55, and that was about 30 minutes. If I would have let it run for an hour, it probably would have got down to my set temperature about 37 degrees. So I think I'm just going to hang out in here for a little bit until Cassie comes looking for me. So I think we did everything we wanted to with the Blue Eddy. We uh, gave it a good test. I'm most excited about the future, though being able to put it in our house and um, have it as a backup power source for when the power goes out in the winter time. We really need those heater fans blowing on our heater, so it's gonna work out perfect. So if you guys are interested in a Blue Eddy at all, go down in the description. I wanna have a link to the website where you can check out the AC500 and the B300S. Uh, like I said, you can link up to six of these batteries together, and that is where whole house backup energy really comes into play. You can just add to it and add to it. So, so the link and the discount code, anything like that is gonna be down in the description. Go down, check it out, and hopefully, if it makes sense for you, you can get you a Blue Eddy. We thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time.